Okay. What about gay people in, for example, religious communities like the one that you came from but yeah. adhere to no more? Sure, exactly. And, and, and you know, what, what happens in religious communities is people go, well, there's these social roles that uh, come from religious tradition or cultural tradition. They're more important than your individual uh, right as a human being. And as, as, a, as a world, we have to decide whether it's okay for a person to choose to be gay. I think, generally speaking, most... Nobody chooses. Well, no, that, well sorry, it, to choose to come out as gay, right. and to live that, your life that way. Um, but the thing is that, as a world, I think we're moving to the point where we realise, actually, that's a bit crazy what's been happening to people who are LGBT. So now, it's, we're, we're coming to a head where religious traditions are coming against that kind of uh, human right uh, choice, um, and they're fighting internally as well. So some religious people disagree with each other. Yeah. And so it comes back to the point where you need universal human rights that go over uh, religious tradition. Who, who defines I will be with you in one second. I know that you have... Well, we we have a, you'll have a chance because I'm going to come see. and speak uh, to you in just a second. Have claims against, uh, against certain communities. At least well, have you will have a chance, but I want to speak to you in a couple of seconds because I want to speak to the audience first of all. And then I'm going to have a little conversation with you, Abdullah. What would you like to say? Me too. Yeah. I think it's super important for people to recognise that there is a difference between culture and religion. Yeah. Um, well, we're many... talking about culture here as well, that's our question. You know, yeah. some mm -hmm. communities ignoring human rights law, it could be religion, it could be culture, and we've right. touched on quite a few different cultural groups in this country, but carry on. Yeah. Right, and there's many, many, many different cultures within each religion. Mm. So there's no point looking at a culture and trying to generalise that to a religion and saying that's what the religion believes. At the end of the day, you need to be educated in the religion you're talking about when it comes to trying to talk about different cultures as well. Mm -hmm. And gentlemen at the back there with the beard, yeah. Um, There's the microphone, it's there. <laughs> yeah, so the Human Rights Act really. was uh, democratically put through our parliament by the, the people we voted for as our representatives. Okay? The problem we've got here, n not even ten minutes into this debate, we've got people representing different religions, which are obviously, these religions are part of different cultures, arguing with each other and instantly saying, actually, this religion does this, this religion does this, when, realistically, the majority of the country, otherwise there would be uproar against the Human Rights Act, um, are for, are for the, the, the laws that we have now. And I think it's time for some cultures to start moving forward at a quicker pace and catch back up. But we've things have changed, yeah. <laughs> things are changing in our country at such a dizzying pace. I mean, the Wolfenden Commission in the 50s, homosexuality being made legal in, in 1967, and now we have equal marriage. In the great scheme of ge geological time, that's quite quick, and some mm. cultures cannot keep up with that. That's the thing. But, Abdullah, let me ask you this, because on the subject of LGBT uh, rights, for example, we've had huge strides recently and advances in understanding trans rights and, you know, recognition of, of non-binary people. Do you think it's a matter of time before we have, I don't know, you know, that's more accepted, we have a, I don't know, a non-binary email? Well, I first want to kind of answer the, the general question and in relation to what you just asked me, which is basically, do um, certain communities have problems with human rights? Well, the law is established, the law of the land, so uh, everyone has to obey the law. That's not really an issue. So all your campaigning is for nothing because the law is already established as it is, where, you whereby, whereby forced marriage is illegal. You need to see the reality let me, let me on the ground. Let me, you let me respond to, to you. Women. You, you need to you give me plenty of time. Wait, wait. I have only wait, everybody. limited time, so let, one me, world, let me respond to you. One love. All right. <laughs> All right. Some chance. <laughs> All right, so to respond, in both classical Islamic law as well as English law, no one can be forced to marriage. It, it gets instantly annulled in Islamic law. So it's not like, oh, a woman is forced to marry, then she has to spend a laborious process. It's not really actually that, that laborious process. It right. actually is. No, 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 it isn't. Have and you been through a divorce? Have you been through a divorce? There was a, there was a court commission by the Ministry of Justice. There's a bit of mansplaining going country, on here, yes, I think. Of course it is. No, no, no. A bit of mansplaining? Yeah. Anyone do? Uh, no, no, it's called, it's called human explaining. Don't, human look don't look at the world for that lens, for and a gendered lens, uh, Nikki. <laughs> We're all humans, right? All can, equal, yeah? Can, some okay. can so, I, can so, I... so, 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 if I may just respond to her points, right? So, basically, um, in, uh, in Islam, women do have the right to initiate uh, uh, divorce, mm. but, in, uh, and well, the case was mentioned by my colleague Salma, which is that in the law of England and Wales, if a woman is in an unhappy marriage, she, that is not grounds for divorce, which is what the Supreme Court in this country 
So a woman in an unhappy marriage does not have the right to divorce according to the law of England and Wales. But, but according no, to you, Islamic you, law, you do have the if right, a woman is unhappy, yes. she can divorce. That's Are you going so to Islamic answer? Law, you're you're Islamic telling law me. Gives be quiet, everyone. You're there's telling me too much. Gives more there's on too much. So why don't you direct these, your attention to the law of England and Wales and not to... There's no need to shout. She's shouting on me. I'll shake my hand. There's no need to shout. I'm trying to make my point. Calm down. It's fine. I'm not, I'm it's fine. Yeah. Are you calm? But, uh, well, but are you calm? Are, are you going to ask her whether or not she's shouting, though? I want you to ask, ask her why she's shouting. I asked you before. Oh, ask her why she's shouting. We're not in the yeah, playground. So people, yeah, of course. Of no, course. So, so please maintain order. Okay, look. Like, like I'm like trying to maintain order. That's why I reached my hands across. What's the situation? What's the situation? Well, if you answer the question, if you don't answer the question, I'll interrupt you. I said that. That's the deal. What are the situations? Let me ask you the question. With trans the, rights in Islam. What are trans rights in Islam? Do you think there will ever be a time that they're accepted? Non-binary and trans people. What do you mean by trans rights? What do you mean, what do I mean by trans rights? I mean, we're discussing human rights, right? The rights of all human Specifically, beings. Specifically, we can discuss gay rights, we can discuss women's and rights, I, I, we can and discuss I'll trans say that, rights, uh, um, and then and it's a specific in, in a, aspect in, of human in rights. In Islamic law, it does not discriminate... What are people who want to Let change me... their gender? What about their rights in Islam? Do you respect their rights? Nikki, uh, in Islamic law, there is no um, category or discrimination for people right. based on sexual proclivity or taste um, or, 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 or this, whatever, you want to, whatever you want to discuss further than that. We don't divide people up into those categories in the first place Sharon, it's important that people are... But I can define...